We're in the end game now. Welcome back to the weekly DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Snap. Uh, if you're not familiar with what we do, we come to you each and every week to podcasting services of your choice. I'm one of your hosts, Karosh, and always my co-host, Danny Vargas. Snap. Danny Jang. I am inevitable. And I am Karosh. And we are the Weekly DLC, as I've said. Uh, what we do is we come to you each and every week, podca- podcast services, but we talk about nerdy stuff. Uh, we, this is part two of episode 117. Uh, part one, if you haven't seen yet, is our Game of Thrones episode three, The Long Night spoiler cast which we dive into and this is going to be our avengers endgame spoiler cast so from this point on all things endgame, uh, endgame mcu up until this point speculation going the forward yeah. going to be open so just heads up you've been warned enjoy guys we all saw endgame no. broad level what did you think it is Good. Pulling a fucking Miyamoto. <laughs> huh? Okay, Jane, what'd you think? I judge a movie movie by if I want to rewatch it. I don't want to rewatch, rewatch it. it. <laughs> the last time I felt like that was Into the Spider Verse, but I never rewatched. Nah. But I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna rewatch it. Movie. It's on Blu-ray, fifteen bucks right now. Ooh. I have it. You want to I want to buy it. <laughs> fifteen bucks right now. <laughs> you want to buy it off? Or else it'll go back up to twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it quite a bit, very much. Thumb, thumbs, yeah, yeah. I, I match you guys. Thumbs way up. Um, now let's go ahead and do it. Um, what what did you? What are some things you liked most about it? Or like, what was your experience going into the movie? Like, did you see it with a big crowd? Where is it like a empty day? I don't think it was empty, but like, give me the context of your experience. So it was after work. What six thirty was my showing? Friday, Friday six thirty p.m. Okay, um, a lot of fucking kids, even a baby. Oh no! Oh, no. I was next to a family who had brought. It was the the mother, uh, father, and the the daughter. Daughter is very young, and like halfway through the movie, the mom is like, "I she's being very restless. I'm gonna take her outside." Takes her outside, and then so the, they're just it's the mom and the daughter hanging outside, not bugging anyone. But I think the daughter's like, I want daddy. So she'll run back in and be like, oh, daddy, shit. let's go. Come on, daddy, let's go. And he's like, no, I got to watch this. No, I got to watch this. We're in the end game now. Yeah, it's just, man, it was. Uh, was it distracting or did it stop after a little bit? I mean, it it was there and I, it's something like I could, I can, I can zone out with or whatever, but it's just like, it's, it's frustrating the fact that it's there in the first yeah, place, yeah. you know? Um, other than that, any other Good Other than that, everything else was good. Comments. Like there was like every moment was like everyone was like, oh, there's even a moment where you see like someone being able go to go for it. We're just podcast. When <laughs> when Captain America fucking gets the that hammer, moment. some guys like, oh, 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 and I'm like, he's like two things. Down. I'm like, yeah, man, I feel the same way. <laughs> but yeah, when he got that redemption back, like he's worthy. <laughs> I knew it. I know <laughs> when he's like he's getting beat up. He's like I knew it. <laughs> that was funny. It that was, was the best. That was both funny and epic. <laughs> yeah, I had a similar like. It wasn't super vocal. It was a Saturday afternoon, and it was in a really nice like the recliner seats. Mm-hmm. You ever see? Katie was like, "Oh my god! Like, how can we go back to normal seats after this?" I'm like, "We can't. <laughs> we gotta go back." <laughs> um, how was your experience? Here? I'm going to say something, man. Movies like this, like this in Star Wars, brings out people that don't know movie theater etiquette. Yeah, and dude. Oh. Like the lady next to me, her On phone went off. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, there was a baby too, but the baby didn't cry. Thank okay. God. But I was like, dude, like. <sighs> yeah, I had, I had young people who were like at the front and they're trying to like. They're trying to get that Marvel moment, like the one the Marvel starts flowing oh, the through. Logo? Yeah, and oh. so they're just like their phones out. I'm like, these motherfuckers better not have their phone out the whole fucking time. That's and the movie starts happening, and they like have the record thing on. They're recording mm. the whole thing. I'm like, I, brightness I mean, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but the they, worst part. Like after that, like, they took it off, and I'm like, I'm okay. Don't check your phone, please. Yeah. Like, <sighs> um, good crowd. Saturday morning. Uh, Order food and then drink. <laughs> yeah, how was the how was the water situation for you guys? I drank that shit. I didn't wait till the credits, but I waited. And I didn't have to use the restroom. So I got nothing. Time. Didn't have to worry about it. I stopped an hour before 
And even then, I went three times to the bathroom. Oh, shit. Bef- like, during the trailers, I was like, I'm going to go one more yeah, time. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. And, the, and I was good. And then Katie, like, an hour and a half in, she's like, I have to go. <laughs> she's like, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she was like, I can hold it. I was like, okay. And I had a bottle but, of water because I was... I knew I would get like, let me chug it and you can pee. <laughs> but I only like after two hour, two and a half hours in when like it was being that final run with the gauntlet and stuff. I was like, right, I can start drinking. That. <laughs> and I had popcorn because I was like, oh, this is going to be bad because I'm going to get salty. And... <laughs> but man, that. OK, so I that first the beginning of everything threw me off so much. Yeah. Yeah. Like where it just was like, oh, we're going to go find Thanos. We found Thanos. <laughs> yep. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, so I was expecting it to be like the comics. <laughs> Nothing like the comics, dude. Wow. And I was like, okay, what are they going to do now? Shit. Mm, now it's a whole new territory yeah, for him. Like, mm, mm, unpredictable. Mm. But yeah, dude, immediately like, it was funny because Ra- Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon's like, yeah, there is a power sur- power wave of energy unlike we've ever seen before. And another one popped up over here, so we know where he's at. And they're like, all right, let's go there. And like, immediately like fucking grabs his arm, grabs the other arm, like puts him down on his knees. And I'm like, oh shit. And then head chopped off. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> the other damn. thing that was crazy was um, I knew the trailer. We see Tony in the ship. Mm-hmm. But when he's on Earth, and he's in the wheel. I didn't realize how like they 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 play to he's been malnutrition yeah. like, on that flight or the the acting was superb. There's a scene where they're playing football and he's oh like, my God. "Was it fun? It was fun." I was like, <laughs> just... "Yeah, Nebula was amazing. I love it was fun. her character arc." Dude, everything. they did callbacks to like why Nebula was was turned into like a hologram or like a, a holograph projector or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's because the because they had gone back, right? Or, well, he they've mentioned in the past like there are things that the, he's done to her. So, but like, because it shows them using the 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 current time, uh, their the past, times, yeah, the past, yeah, Nebula to see what the other Nebula is doing, yeah. And but when when we when we um, do Guardians of the Galaxy, we like that she's in that same position, like being opened up to for like modifications he's like i'm gonna keep adding more robotics to you okay so it had nothing so, I to mean, do the the position the, the sort of stuff that's being done to her yeah. was similar but okay. in a different like thing gotcha so okay. still still similar um i did enjoy the revisiting of their relationship of old or old nebula new nebula and how they both interacted with gamora mm. That was definitely interesting. I mean, like one of them was not was still in the state of like I don't want to be your sister. Yeah. The other one was like I've ex- you know, like She's you are my that. sister. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, yeah, that what I was saying about the Tony thing. I was like, man, like it. The, the he making he's making references to Civil War and like the the state they were in. He's like, I was trying to get us on board for something like this, and you were so adamant about going down, no matter the principle. And I'm like. He's got, he's got you there a little bit. <laughs> if he leaves, we leaves with the t- as a team, right? Yeah. Well, we've lost yeah. as a fucking team. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then that's when they start going off and stuff. But, and did you, have either of you watched Leftovers? No. Mm-hmm. The five years later thing made me think of Leftovers because mm. it's like half the world, the, uh, the population, the people that are, are remaining are the leftover people. Yeah. Like one percent of the population disappears, and it. You think it's like okay one percent, but like the impact it has on the people remaining is the what you see the right, show right. cover. And some people try to get religious to like this was a phenomenon. Mm. Other people like despair and depression. And I think this did like a hinting at that, like with that. Circle Dude, group. I had that circle group. I had Fight Club. Fucking oh okay, yeah, you know, yeah, you know who was one of them, right? The Russo brother. Yeah, one one was a Russo. Oh, brother. I didn't know the that. one that was talking. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Talking his date. Yeah, going on the date, yeah. and when it was, it was he was essentially gay, right? I, yeah, I think yeah, it was going okay, um, but yeah, it, it reminded me of that because it's like they're they're talking about like their feelings, but the one of them, the the Captain America specifically, is like the whole time he's 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 lying to them because he his feelings are I'm not over this, I'm not every every advice I'm giving them, I'm not following my own advice, and I was like, dude, this is fucking Fight Club right now. <laughs> yeah, that was a good point. Yeah, yeah. so I, I like that a lot. It gave me that like that vibe. Which character, when we do the five years later, which character visiting did you enjoy the most? Is it easy? Thick Thor. 
Dick Thor. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard the entire The dude time. Thor. I, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, they you had know, that. The, he's in the robe and everything. It's, it's very smart on the Russo brothers' part, I think, because everyone's like, oh, we can see Chris Hemsworth in that in that, that body. And Peach they, Bud. They're so like, fuck you, dude. This is what you get. I was like, that's a good. That's a good. Does at thing. the end when he like puts on like he gets like it's the still whole fat. Thing. He's still fat. Okay. I thought I was like, wait, did the fat go? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, For no. It's just funny. Like every time they just showed him, everyone in the audience laughed. Just him just appearing. Giggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny. Dude just thing. started laughing. Uh, so funny. But what's funny though is like the the actor who plays Thor, yeah, uh, Chris. Chris he he's he's been like, dude, they, they've helped me revive this character. Like I was like bored of him like he wasn't anything different and they're like up until ragnarok yeah up until ragnarok he's like ragnarok it like revived it and then like even this one's like completely different from any yeah. of the other ones before that so it's like he's like it's fantastic i love it yeah i, <laughs> I love it and it's interesting because he's like in a lot of ways he's still one of the original three like thor cap tony mm -hmm. and cap and tony kind of got a send-off Thor's still got like I feel like he's just getting started personally, but mm -hmm. I'm worried. You know who's my second favorite? <laughs> the Hulk. <laughs> Dab. <laughs> Dab. Uh, <laughs> Hulk was hilarious oh, when man. they're doing the time travel shit and they're testing it out, and then they like they finally get him back to normal. He's like, time travel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's so funny. And then like when they go back, when, so they start going back to all these like time periods and stuff. And when they have him go back and see his old self in Avengers, he's like, oh, yeah, raw. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, the humor was so like they got like whatever humor they were like, we got to get it out because like, the like, end is going to get yeah. like heart wrenching and stuff. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. So um, did you have any characters that like you didn't expect or liked that you saw like make an appearance or in a surprising way? Um, fucking doctor. What's his name? Uh, the Asian uh, dude from Hangover. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Where was he? He was. I He's the security it, guard that saves uh, Ant Man, gets him out of the cage. Oh, the, the rat was. He gets him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rat, yeah, the rat yeah, gets yeah. him out of the thing, he but then he's like yeah, yeah, in the yeah. camera, he's like, help that's me right, out. That's right, that's right. And he's like, what? And like, I was like, what the fuck? Why is yeah. it? <laughs> it's such a weird thing. Ant Man had some good one line. One line. Yeah, he had some good ones. <laughs> What'd you guys think of the. I want to. I'm just kind of all over the place. I don't know if you guys have any That's points fine. you want to make, but um, they make a point at some point because the plot of this goes into the whole time travel aspect, and they're like, "This is time travel rules," and they yeah. go into that. What do you think about the differences of this versus ones we've discussed in the past? Well, because they like obviously there's the the Ant Man. He's like, "This isn't back to or back to the future lied to me or whatever," and he's like, "This is bullshit." Um, I mean, I, I'm like the, the standards that I've given myself are like this, like what I truly believe would be real is what like the Avengers kind of did. It's like when, if you were to change anything in the past, it doesn't change the timeline that you're in. It changes, it makes a new split that changes the time for that, from that moment on. And you're not going to live that moment because you're going to move back. If you ever go back to the future, you're going back to your own timeline where this event's already happened and you can't change that. See, I disagree. I think when you change something... It'll change. Not like Back to the Future. It'll change instantly. Sort of like Looper. Like where the guy gets his shit cut off. And, and he's like, like, oh. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, they explain the rules. So I'm going to follow the rules. Their That's rules. what bothered. Yeah. I'm going to follow their rules. But I think November 22nd, 1963 by Stephen King had the best time travel rules. And it doesn't have it this way? It doesn't have the split time splitting? Like a timeline, and if you change something, it changes it to a different timeline? No, right? No. But his the, his rule is, if you go back in time, it erases everything that you've done before. Oh. Yeah, so if you go back again, it just erases everything. Yeah, so it's I a whole new the future. The thing I like about it in this one is because of the comic book context of it. Because in comic books, there's not just in Marvel, but in multiverse. DC, is where there's multiverse, and there's multiple yeah. realities, and there's a lot to play with that, and there's a lot of characters that can mess with that. And we can get into that maybe in the after. I like the rules they set where it's like if they if they did not by the die by the stones they cannot be revived. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Mm -hmm. They they make it very clear at that point. So they're that like, means what about Scarlet? And they're like, so yeah. yeah, moments there's like Scarlet is someone who had, didn't die. She died. Her, she had to kill herself for to to get a stone, but it wasn't because of a stone. No, it was because of. I mean, that's because. Well, of yeah, the stone. yeah, but I mean, it wasn't like the stone didn't kill her. It was she died to get a stone. Yeah, and so therefore she can't revive. Right. right. Um, 
talking about that scene, I knew she wasn't going to get killed because of the stupid news that Hawkeye's getting his own show. I was like, but he was, she was getting a movie. Is she Black Widow? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Um, the the know. cop from um, Scott, uh, not Scott, um, Stranger Things is in it as well. Yeah. As I forget who we don't know a lot of it, but we, there's been casting, and it's being set for a release date sometime in the near future. Hmm. So I did, I knew that I just didn't know where it would play, and this movie confused me even more. I'm like, okay, it's probably a prequel, but I mean, going to what you were saying, even though Gamora did go, we still have other Gamora. Right, right. But I was gonna say like Loki. People were saying Loki's back, but he he got choked out by fucking Thanos. No, but the past Loki with the cube. Yeah, that sh- that is another. That's a rea- different timeline. But that's in a different that's time. That's another reality. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. well, or it, that's in the past because they didn't bring him. They only took the stone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just so. saying, like in that timeline, like or in that reality, he gets he he's gone. He gets the tesseract. Yeah. And he escapes. So yeah. who they could do something. They could do a show or yeah, something. Yeah, but they the tesseract isn't a time travel one, right? No, yeah. no. But it alter. It can do things. So yeah. I'm sure they could like be like, and now he's doing this. Yeah, yeah. Doing mm-hmm. that. That's true. But and then so there's those two, and I don't know. There was another one too. That uh, I forgot who. I like the moments where they get to meet their parents. Like Tony met oh, his dad, dad and that was a good Thor met his mom. And she was like, oh, yeah, like, I know you're not from this timeline. <laughs> you and he's trying to tell her, like, Eat don't, a fucking don't, 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 like, you're going to die. And she's like, don't tell him, don't worry he's about it. got it. Yeah. And then that created another timeline doing that shit. They put, he took, I know, they, took it back. Yeah, 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 I know. But I was like, wait, how does that work? And then they took it back. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> What's it called? Um, do you have any other favorite moments? Um, Taika Waititi. <laughs> playing Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> Him back. Yeah. He, I love the part where he's like, he's the guy's back. He's being really rude to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Thor's like, I'm a, you know who I am? Thor God of Thunder here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit's so good. I thought the whole him having new Asgard on the beach in that kind of area. I was like, is this a joke to, to Aquaman? <laughs> Oh shit! Because it made me think of Aquaman, where yeah. just mm. like he's at the beach or the pier or whatever. Um, the cap you mentioned the cap throw, I legit was like, this is he's Captain Falcon. Like at one point he does the fucking Falcon knee. I was like, that fucking awesome. And did so uh, cool. America's ass? That's all. Oh, I yeah, said. that was funny. <laughs> that was the funniest. That and then followed by Hail Hydra. <laughs> oh, that was damn, cool, dude. Cool where, I love that moment because the guys are like. Uh, they're about to start, and he's like, "Don't worry about it, Hell Hydra." And everyone's like, "All right then." The the weirdest part to me is that they let him fucking just go. Like they're just like, "Here's the briefcase." I would have been like, "Uh, let's follow We're him." Gonna be with him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but the other interesting oh, thing is it's a callback to the recent the run of the comic where Cap is a part member of Hydra. And yeah. I was like, "What?" And he does the. Hell you know what was a really cool moment? It's the end of Avengers. Where he's like, Thor, take the stairs. And like, oh, Hulk, Hulk. Or, oh, Hulk, Hulk, take the stairs. Boom. And that causes the fucking. <laughs> that was so funny. He's oh, like, no wow. more stairs. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Um, what's it called? There's the cap scene. Everyone, when, when it, we, okay, so we saw Captain Marvel in the movie prior to this. Mm-hmm. What did you think of her in this, in the MCU? I like her new hair. They did it for the comic books style because that's her hairstyle. Um, she's OP, dude. She's crazy, dude. I mean, she's OP. Like, it, it's so weird to me, like how how strong they show her, and then yet how how I mean, apparently how strong Thanos is, I guess, at the same time. But I feel like if she if he's able to fight her like that, then he shouldn't have any issue with like as much issue I feel like as he's had with any of these other Avengers, like. It just should be fucking easy. To, I think to, it still to goes to out. like it goes to the whole Hulk versus Thanos thing, where Hulk has the power. It's just he's not like trained like Captain America is in fighting styles. And I think some of these other people that aren't as strong as Captain Marvel are trained in the fighting styles, so they might come up with interesting like things that would chip away at him or something. I think that's where it gets weedy. Of like, okay, they get the upper hand, but. Once he's got you, then it's fucking over. Yeah. Whereas with Captain Marvel, once he's got you, she's not over, but she could still. I think that could get. You know who had of... who had a part that 
just was so small, and he was so he's so big in the Marvel universe, like money maker wise. Black Panther. I was like, he had one scene where he absorbed something, and well, yeah, he's like, give me the yeah. the. But I just felt like he was very downplayed. Like really, the, yeah. He brought the whole child, like Wakanda. Yeah, I, I don't think he was downplayed. I it's, I think that they, they wrote him perfectly because I think he, he had his was, big moment he, in, in Infinity War. Yeah, like mm. the fact that he was the front. Mm-hmm. Like let's go. But like, like in I'm this here. one, he he was dead. He was brought back, yeah. and then it took a while for him to come back. And when he came back, that's where. I think he, was, he led the he charge was, yeah. on the, the the extras and stuff, or the, not the extras, but the the reinforcements. Because he's also hits him and and the his the sister and the sister. Uh, yeah, they're both they're the three who come out, and then he's like, whoa, and then all of a sudden everyone just starts coming like coming through and and shit. It so. wasn't definitely like emphasized, but it wasn't like I didn't think. Yeah, I don't. Them. I don't feel like they I had one them. major gripe with the film, and I was I was like. Good writing up until this point. What's that? There's a scene where, like, you know, the very end, the last act, where Hawkeye has the gauntlet, and, like, he's he's almost going to lose it, yeah. right? He's being chased. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing, dude? Like, I was like, dude, separate the fucking stones. Like, w- dude, it's such... Or fucking wear it, and you do it yourself. I was like, god damn it. Like, why... If we each had nuclear keys, and there was a bad guy chasing us, and one person had the key... Separate that shit. I was just like really pissed. I was like, dude, Hawkeye, just fucking wear the gauntlet. Don't let it go to chance like that. Like, fucking. I, so, oh, my explanation. I think the reason for not wearing it and snapping is what they were saying of like, it could kill you. But what are the stakes? Like, dude, the stakes of you, him, Thanos winning is worth it to get to die. I think for to that Hawkeye, moment. it wasn't. I think he, he's. No, no, no. So, it's a sell- I think for him, it's he wants his family. And he wants to be there with his family. Uh, separate the stone. Yeah, that's. Like, I agree with I'm that. Just I agree like, with that, dude. Like, take out the time stone and fucking freeze time. I was like, it would have been cool. I was if like, you what seeing, the fuck are you doing? That would have been a cool sequence because if you start seeing all these people with each of the stones and they're like, here, you take this stone, and all of a sudden you see Spider-Man time bending, and you see another well, one. Well, first of all, it, it does depict. Us that you can't just grab stones. Yeah, that's the other thing. You're right. You can't just grab stones. But so, they do. And I don't they think. Do. <laughs> and I don't think it's as easy so the, as like, let me just pick this bad this bad boy out. I, mean, like, I don't Tony think it's just that flipped. easy. Well, no, but yeah, but the like, <laughs> obviously with with that, it's it's he both his are his gauntlets. So I think it was able to like when he did the grab, it, it did a switch for his gauntlets. Maybe yeah, we didn't. See. What's crazy too is like when you have that on you. Become you become omnipresent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, Thanos does. should have known that he was gonna die in the future. So that was kind of weird to me. I'm too. okay with the way they did it. Like they're not showing it the way the comic books are. They're not trying to show him because the way the comics portray him, like there's no way he should have ever lost in the comic books too. Then you know, like <clears throat> I don't. I think the writing in the comic no, but books. In the, the reason why it loses is because he gives him a point zero. Yeah, because he's like, I'm gonna give you a chance. That's too small of a chance. It doesn't even matter, dude. Like that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Um, I think this one did it did it good Savage. where it's just it, it doesn't show that he's almighty like he has a shit ton of power but it's not like he immediately can see everything at once you know like the, I like that they never showed that um, when it comes to the the gauntlet I think yeah, it's also it's, like it's it's unknown power you've never welded before yeah. like if he's had this thing on for like <coughs> a month he's like okay I know my capabilities and everything I I, I thought they wrote the the gauntlet well because they they show like there's radiation, there's gamma, there's damage that's done to you if you were to put this, just just putting it on, not even using it yet, just putting it on. So like, you know, the Hulk is like, I have, that shit's running through me, I'm the best candidate, and it still fucks Wait, him just up. to wear it? Yeah, just to wear it. It, it damages you. It shows him, like, he, like, he's not getting hurt, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's already, I see, I like, uh, infecting about. Yeah, yeah. him got or whatever. It, 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 it. Um, and so that already freaks people out. You're like, I don't want to, even though all this shit is happening... That's like a last resort. And that's obviously a resort that ends up falling on Iron Man. Like, that's just what ends up happening. I don't know. If I was in that situation, I would have snapped it. Right? Put I, it I, on, th- I think it. the writing is fine. I, I didn't, I mean, there's flaws. I think but the motive is he wouldn't do it. I, I could see other characters be willing to do it. Like, I could see a Chalad trying to do it. I could see, see Strange the, doing it. I my could bigger see Cap flaw doing it. Is like, I don't think Haw- Hawkeye has not been that, like, heroic. Like, right. he's been like, I'm doing this for my family, like, first. I think the only person he was willing to do that for was for Scarlet. Mm-hmm. Or not for Scarlet, for... Uh, Black uh, Widow. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot her real name. Ro- Ro- Romanov. Yeah, Romanov. Oh. Natasha Romanov. Um, Natasha, yeah. My, my, a bigger grip for me would have been, like, why Spider-Man didn't put it on? He didn't know any of these issues. He would have just been like, oh, shit. Because like, he's a kid and he's afraid. Like, 
He was afraid I, last one with the I don't no, know. No, like, like I see that as, a, as an explanation, but I don't like for me, it's not a good enough explanation. Like it doesn't why? really say why. Well, I, I meant like because he's also explaining it the same way. Like if he would have done it himself, but with Spider Man, it's like he doesn't have the knowledge that it, it's going to harm him if he puts it on. And he just thinks, like, if I put it on, I'll have his power as Thanos. Like, I think, since he's a kid, I don't think that's, that's the case not at all. I think it's like, I don't, this is a nuke, and I don't know how to wield it in the right direction. And I could take out just as much of our people if I don't do this right as I did other people. I, I just, what? I don't see a reason for him to think that way because there hasn't been. Why? Thanos has been able to control it. So if anyone could think of it, it'd be Spider Man because great power. Means great responsibility. No, he's a kid too. No, I mean I'm exactly. just saying. No, no. Okay, hold on. This isn't an issue for me. I'm just saying that's a bigger issue if I were to pick one Is of that these. One? That yeah, than okay. that one. I don't. It's not an issue to me though. Um, and th there's also when <laughs> when they bring everyone back, fucking pots, dude. I didn't even realize that was her at first. Yeah, I was dude. like, wait. Who is a? Did she have that in Iron Man three? I don't know. Or in Civil I think War? there was a she, suit they, they showed. She puts on a, his suit on Iron Man. One of the Iron Mans. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I thought but the not kid somehow suit. did it. I was like, is that his daughter? And then I was like, no, it's Pepper. Okay. <laughs> dude, so that was that shocked you. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah. fuck! I was like, yeah. dude, they got everyone in this bitch. I was. I, I like that. I like the combos, like where. Uh, Iron Man had the array open and he's like, Thor, light me up. And then oh, it just yeah, charged yeah. him. Like all the, it reminds me of Ultimate Alliance where it's like you could do all those. I like that like th Iron Man had always like, Tony essentially has thought of these combinations. Like he had to think of like a suit that can absorb Thanos' fucking th lightning or a, 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 um, a, a generally, essentially a, a large amount of, uh, oh, of yeah. energy yeah. is what I meant to say. Um, not necessarily just Thor's, but like just anyone, yeah, him. like anyone could like fucking, I'm sure Scarlet Witch could have just shot like energy blast at him and he would have absorbed it and fucking shot it at The one other gripe I have is I wish they showcased Thanos using the gems to fuck up the superheroes more. Like the first, like Infinity War yeah. when he was little. Well, yeah, like, yeah, He yeah. was doing it a little bit, like with like, the reality with Gamora and Quill. Right, right. I wish he did more of that, play with them, like, but. Like mess them up and then kind of like not revive them, but like reheal them essentially. Something, yeah, that'd yeah. be interesting. I think one thing that would have been cool is, I mean, we've kind of got an underplayed in the movies, but we get a little hint of it, is Hulk's story. And they say, like, what he did to get to the state he was in. I would have liked to see, like, what that would have looked like. At least a montage of him trying to, like, struggle. or so like Hulk movie is what you're telling me. Not even, it could have been, like, ten, five or ten minutes. I would have so been... So extend this in the Yeah, extra. like, in the extended <laughs> cut. I, I, if there's anything to add in an extended cut, I think that would be a cool thing. A four-hour extended cut. <laughs> Lord of the Rings did it. Also, like, damn, another gripe. If they were so, like, if, I mean, Tony could easily do that swap, why worry so much? I don't know. <laughs> Well, like, like the swap I would have just, like, just given the gauntlet. I'm Iron Man. Well, I don't think it was. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to go. No, no, no. I know, but I don't. Th first, that of all, was like that was like a, that was like what you're saying, last resort. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also don't think it's like he can't just send those to him. Like he had to physically touch the gauntlet to get the swap going. And at the time, and I don't, I don't know have... if it was a swap of gauntlets. I think it's like his, his, this gauntlet opened up and this one opened yeah, up. Yeah. And he just got the gems. Yeah. yeah. And then like, it, it's just, um, so yeah, like there had to be physical contact first of all. And I think at some point, Tony doesn't like obviously realize this, but at some, like at some point, he, uh, he looks at, uh, Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, and he just like up the butt. He lifts mm -hmm. he lifts up one finger. <laughs> and Tony's like, no. He's like, damn it, he he's didn't like, understand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he he points he lifts yeah. up one finger, and I think that's when he's like, that, we yeah. gotta we have to use it. Like that's what has to happen. Yeah. Um I mean, these little things aside, I feel like that sequence of just this whole battle on the field is the closest I've felt to like a comic book where there's a mm. splash page right, of like a right. hundred characters. George Perez drawing yeah. it. Like that, that was, that's how I felt. Like Spider-Man where he's like kill mode. Like I know. Turn on kill mode. It's just, I got this. And then like eventually he's getting over him. I don't think I got this. And then his interaction with Captain Marvel and <laughs> the women all lining up and going out for a bit. And then Val, oh my God, Valkyrie fucking killing those fucking shit in the sky. I was like, Dude, like cutting it like butter, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
The thing I was going to say about, uh, I mentioned earlier about Captain Marvel, is I feel like her powers are cool and stuff. The, her role, because she was just so in and out yeah. of the film in little segments, Either it's either because of that or maybe because of the writing. She felt like RoboCop to me. Like, <laughs> what's the mission? <laughs> okay, affirmative. And like very, very quick and to the point. Like, I, I know people have said, and I've, I know there's some of it there where she's kind of got like a snark to her. Yeah. I didn't get as much of it. And I was like, I would I would have liked like her letting loose or being like. The, it, she she just, had it in the beginning. There's yeah. like that moment where it's like, all right, what are we going to do? And he's like, I'll just go kill him. And it's like, I, we've all kind of tried. We're all kind of, we've done the superhero thing. It's not that simple, you know? I think for me, the closest time was when she see, she's like, Spider-Man's on the ground. And she's like, let me help you with that. <laughs> like, I got a little bit there. But yeah. like every other time, it's like target sighted. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, that was my only little thing. I was like, it would have been cool to see her more like socially involved. I, I hope they delve into that no more. Going back to the cap wielding the hammer. I thought, which is crazy, in comic books, so many people have picked up the hammer. Like, so Red, many. Red Hulk has. <laughs> yeah. God so, but, so when it happened, I was like, holy shit. I, it took me off guard. Like, I didn't expect to see this in a movie. it looked like it was floating. I was mm-hmm. like, is he doing some new shit with the hammer with, with a Thor? I mean, Wonder Woman's picked up the hammer. Is Wonder Woman going to be in the next Avengers? Mm. <laughs> but she has picked up the hammer before. But that's also a different universe. Well, it was Marvel vs. DC. <laughs> mm. uh, one gripe. Um, I don't know if people caught this. So when Spider-Man gets revived, he says, like, he's like, dude, like, we just, I just came back to where we were and, like, it was weird. And when it, when everything ends and he goes back to school. His friend. His, all of his friends are the same age. They had, So I was looking into this because we were both like, wait, they all five years, like, and they're like, not all of them are. The Russos were answering like, and you'll see stuff about that. Mm. Like who is, who isn't, how does that affect them in homecoming or no, far from home, I should say of like some kids would be in college now. Yeah. And yeah. other kids like maybe, I think his, his best friend is, but I don't know who else, probably the girl too. So. Well, there was a flash. Yeah. So I think the, the important ones. Uh, they all just fucking vanished. But not the whole school. Okay, okay. But my biggest gripe in the film. Just is, gripe city, let's go. Is the ending. The Which Captain ending? America ending. The old old man Rogers. You didn't like it? I don't it doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow I mean It if, doesn't follow their time travel. If you travel think roles. of it, it doesn't follow their time travel rules. So if he goes back in time, right, to live his life, he created a yeah, divergent he would path. Grant, yeah. That divergent path would be him being old. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't be able to go back in time to present. Can't he then at that point use the pin particles to go back? No, because it's divergent. You could they diverge? They've diverged in the other one. Hmm. Oh, so you're yeah, I'm saying, saying he he just okay. delayed when he did it. No, no. So you're saying is he went back in time he, well, to, to to part one one way to on drop this all thing. these yeah. to drop all these and then instead of possibly even going to the future, he just stayed there, lived his life old, and then at the point where he was like. I, I think I'm old I enough need to, to go back. Yeah, he went back at an old age just to tell them like, "Hey, you know, I'm done with this shit." So that's what you're saying. Okay. Possible. Uh, what I was thinking is, they, no, oh, no, no this is this is the, what I was thinking. What I was thinking is, he went back in time, and then lived his life, got old, and then we're seeing him in that same timeline. But I'm like, that doesn't work because if he goes back in time, he it makes creates. a new one where we never see him anymore. Um, another possibility is that we're living. In the timeline of Captain, that he is, that he does go back in time and lives old, kind of thing. We're living in that timeline, so that's the I don't know. So the Russos but address. How does he get the shield? I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna read what the Russos said. <laughs> so he never took it, did he? He took the hammer and the stones. That's it. Did he take the stone, the shield? I don't know. For for me, the shield is easy to explain though, because like he he went back in the past when they were trying to make Captain America, so that someone would have made the shield again, and he would have picked it up and been like, "Hey, I'm the Captain America," I think. For ex- okay, every so, how exactly does the time travel work in Endgame? The Russos say both Ancient One and Hulk were right. You can't change the future by simply going back to the past, but it's possible to create a different alternate future. It's not butterfly effect. Every decision you make in the past could potentially create a new timeline. For example, old Cap at the end of the movie, 
he lived his married life in a different universe from the main one. He had to make another jump back to the main universe at the end to give the sh- shield to Sam. So that's what they're saying is he went back again in time to the point where mm-hmm. he had left. He used mm-hmm. the, the second half of the yeah, pinpoint. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. he had never used that's it. Okay, that, That's something something I didn't think of because like he just he, – he goes away and he's already there. Sure. So, you're just like, I, so my thing I, – I don't know. You guys seem to be more in the line of uh, – the focus on the the rule side, but to me, I was like, it, it was such a sweet thing that I was like, the disbelief for me. I'm like, I'll just even if it is an issue, I'm gonna let it just. It was such a good. Mo- I know it's a different no, no, type for of me, viewing for me, but to me, I'm like, it, he earned it. You can no, accept. I'm me. like, he earned it. For me, it was such a good moment that I can overlook that. Yeah. <laughs> but but like, it's still a fucking issue. But like, I, this made me think of like, this is probably enough given the time we have. We still have time for this one, but it, I want to leave room for other things that I feel like yeah. are more pertinent. But the discussion I want to talk about at some point is criticism and how f- looking at like these monumental feats. Like in any scale, you could say like the what they accomplished with this movie and mm-hmm. like the culmination it's been is impressive, and then the amount of focus being put on the flaws of it, how does it weigh versus the the accomplishments of it in the eyes of like the people criticizing it or viewing it and stuff? Yeah. Do people put more weight on the flaws because it's such a pres- like everything else about it is so good? Or do people just focus on the flaws because of other things, maybe? For other fact. Um, and that, I mean, this is, again, another topic. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into it. Um, but, that, yeah, that ending. What did you think about the other ending? I'm going to say something. It's going back, though. They back out Grant time. Morrison. Grant Morrison. So there's an issue of All-Star Superman where Superman goes back in time to meet his dad because he never said a proper goodbye. Endgame did it way better. I'm, I'm sorry, Grant Morrison. <laughs> I feel uh, this is my opinion. And yeah. you did it a lot better. <laughs> I'm glad someone I think, did it. I'm glad someone I think Grant did it. Morrison created that kind of event. concept. Yeah. But And what's the other ending you're referring to? The Iron Man stuff. Oh man, oh. just like the after Fuck, yeah. dude. Cause like it shows Peter like it's we did it, man. You're good, yeah, you're okay. Man. And then Potts is like rest, like you you know, you And like he's guilt the guilt of him like letting Peter get snapped. Too. It's yeah, like, dude, there's fuck, the, when dude. Peter comes back to him and like Peter's explaining he everything, he's like, just like, shut up, man. Like, I can't believe you're fucking back, man. Holy shit, I thought I lost you. Um, but yeah, dude, that whole moment, and like, I don't know if it's if it's a good thing or a bad thing for me, but there's that like the whole time that he's like he gets laid down on that uh, like next to the spaceship, whatever, he's like incoherent. Like he doesn't under like I don't even feel like he knows what's going on. He's just staring at these people that he recognizes and they're talking to him, but he's just the whole time he's just like looking around, like yeah. Doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He's completely like mush. I just love the callback. I am Iron Man. That gave me chills. Oh, dude. He's like, like, I am an Edifal. I am Iron Man. And like he said it with such authority, I was like, that's how it started. <laughs> and that's how it fucking ended. And then <laughs> I was okay. No, one thing I was hoping the big battle sequence when when he says like Avengers assemble, oh. like everyone goes about, I was waiting for fucking immigrant song. I was like, fucking play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been. I, 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 that song's amazing. At the, fu- at the funeral scene, do you know who that kid was? I didn't originally. Uh, originally, the, I didn't know who it was. I still kid, don't know who it is. It's Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. He helps him become Iron Man again. He's like, like his, staff, his, his suit's there. And nope. There's a kid that it's helps him out. Is that the one with the Mandrake or whatever? The Mandarin. That's the yeah, movie. Never saw it. Oh, you did? No. That's the, I think the. Maybe not better than one, but <laughs> I, I, I like, wait. so it's one, like, three, two. In my book, it's three, one, two, but I'm biased. Okay. I like Guy Pierce. I, I, yeah, I never saw the Mandarin one, so I didn't know who that kid was. Um, what else? There's. Um, Hamburg- there's who- they, they throw a callback to cheeseburgers because when he. The daughter. The very first Iron Man, when he gets out, it's like, what do you want? I want a cheeseburger. It just sits on the press conference. That scene was weird to me. With like where, where yeah with the daughter where he's uh what's his face is sitting next to her yeah like you could tell like she's not acting very well which i mean i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's just like i was like i could kind of see i was like sure. oh man but um i do think they set up some interesting things with hawkeye's daughter uh scott lang's daughter all the daughters wait what does scott lang's daughter do i'm just saying like a lot of times, the superheroes, if they have daughters, they end up somehow taking okay. over the mantle. I can see the Hawk one, yeah. uh, Hawkeye's daughter, but I don't... Remember the daughter wanted to be his partner? I don't remember. She's like, I want to be your partner. It's like, oh, I already have a partner. Oh. Um, shoot, I was going to say something I already forgot. I hate you guys. <laughs> Gotta go back in time. 
I, I can't. So I watched Ant Man and Wasp the night before finished it before watching Avengers, and I thought they were gonna use because he mentions time something in the quantum realm. Like don't don't ever, don't go into a time thing, you'll get stuck. And I was they didn't use that. They, well, they, they they didn't use it. He said do not go into a specific thing. It was called a time something. You'll get stuck. They used the quantum realm, but he said he specifically gave him warnings. And okay. said, Don't use. But the you time. saw the after credits. Yeah. What happens? Like he goes in, then they fucking dust. Yeah, that was a cool. Scene. <laughs> I thought the whole setup of the quantum was going to be like you can go inside the soul stone, mm. and they would get everyone out that. That's how I was predicting it would go, but not not that way at all. Um, I loved Asgardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> and like. I, I couldn't have laughed harder when he's like, we know who's in charge. <laughs> and, and it just leaves no. it awkwardly like... No. <laughs> I'm like, give me Guardians of the Galaxy 3 right now. And everyone starts laughing and he's like, ha ha. And just to make sure he's like, I'm the leader. He's like, we know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> so Christ. good. So good. I was like, yes, give me... I like this like I like I'm curious where Thor's journey goes from here. Like okay, let's get into where does this go Oof. to now. Real quick, Howard the Duck apparently came through a portal. Did anyone notice it? No. no. I got to watch know. it again. I don't know if it's true. I can't believe in the like screenshots cuz like, they could easily be photoshopped. I'd have to look at the movie and be like, okay. He was in one of the Guardians films. Which is why they're saying he's he's coming oh, back. He's oh, he's I doing see, see. um he's doing a um Instead of a Avengers, uh, shoot, Devenger? What's the other? There's another. Defenders? De- no. I don't know what it is. Revengers. No, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, let's go on to the, what we think the future well, is. So, whew, then what's, what's the landscape given what's that? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't understand what they're saying. So, this is the what end is- of the, like, this, this 22 MCU thing. So, now they're just going to start something brand new. Isn't that, like, the idea? No. They're gonna have like a well, Black I know Spider Man. Yeah, I know Spider. Like, like I guess those characters are coming back, but Avengers wise, it's done, isn't it? Like all these characters coming back into one movie is that idea is done for I don't it? Think, I think if anything, we're gonna see it's bigger, bigger or more. Yeah. I don't know when we'll see another Avengers movie. I think that's gonna be like in eight. I years. hope they do an original like thing for the movie. Like no, mm-hmm. like obviously, like they they have all these these uh, comic book characters now, but an original story. That isn't something that's done in the comics oh, I see. for oh. the movies. Well, I, I mean, think that'd be. You could argue that this is. I mean, it's loosely based off. Yeah, of yeah it's loosely yeah. based off. But like now, like we can go into just like new, complete new territory. Something that like you can do in movies that you can't really do in, in which I don't. I can't think of anything now. But I think that would be a really cool concept. It's just completely, you know, turn movies on its head and like do something crazy with it. Yeah, you know, yeah. make these animated things. Like, to be honest, I don't know how they're gonna top this. Like they incorporated time travel and used every like almost every key movie. So they make scene. a mention of earthquakes under the water in some of the movies. Yeah, and they were like, it's too far. Like we don't we ignore it or yeah. whatever. Um hmm. so yeah, I think that could set up Namor. I think Godzilla. Yeah. Um they're setting up a bunch of TV shows. I think it's going to become daunting following... If it's one large event, that's going to be like something that I don't think they do for a long while, like mm. five years, maybe more, probably more. I think we're going to get like... These 10 characters are going to have like an event crossover. These 13 characters, like all the cosmic people, like Marvel, Captain Marvel, maybe Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor... And maybe a couple others do have an event of mm-hmm. some kind, and it's a cool like it's Civil War level yeah. like crossover. But then all the Earth people are like Spider Man, Doctor St- maybe Doctor Strange is in both Doctor Strange, Black Panther, all these other people are like doing something else down here, maybe with Namor, and it's like another conflict. And then I think the time travel stuff could be interesting with like introducing the Fantastic Family and Galactus and. I don't know, they could take it in a lot of directions. And right. I'm like, maybe they don't take one direction. Maybe they take all the directions. And do, I mean, I think we'll see characters that are existing. I don't, I, I, I can see what you're saying with the original idea. Yeah. But I think it'll be using characters we already have and other characters we have, we have yet to see that exist that mm-hmm. are like, oh, that's Galactus or oh, that's Silver Surfer. But you're seeing them in a story we haven't seen yeah, before. Yeah. 
Like that could be cool. Like a really good, like if there wasn't a, a good backstory for like Silver Surfer, I know there have been, but like there wasn't a really good adaptation of it. They come up with the definitive one yes. of it. It's like okay, fuck yeah, that was yes. awesome. You guys yeah. did an original like thing for that. Mm-hmm. Cool. But like the fact that they're now in, they could they have these movie characters. They're gonna have TV shows, so that makes me think that TV and movies are gonna be more mm. more than just like we've all just been movies so far. TV mm-hmm. separate. So I think that's going to be the big thing of like, how do they get, do you watch the end credits of TV shows and the movies and this and that? And like, they're going to try to push Disney plus. And so they're going to try to like incorporate it like that. We yeah. interweave them. Yeah. Is there anyone, anything you want to see? Yes. You already know. <laughs> Secret war. No, it's not. It's a small, it's independent. Like one person, uh, superior Spider-Man, please animated, oh. animated, I don't care if it's live action, Superior Spider Man, please. Please. Be cool. I don't have anything specific. I, Is like, there any characters you like to see brought in that um, haven't been? Like specific characters? Mm, I can't think Moon of Knight? Any. That'd be interesting. He's a very interesting character. Yeah. I can only see a TV show, dark TV show with him. I'm really, I want to see Silver Surfer. Yeah. Like, as much as Galactus is this like, um, like large force and stuff. I think what and he makes originally it was Fox, right? Huh? And he was originally with Fox. Yeah. And now he's owned. It by was Disney. with the uh, X Men and and yeah and Fantastic yeah. stuff. Did okay. you see the video I posted of about how Marvel movie how it came to cinematic universe? Fuck oh, the bankruptcy dude. stuff. Fuck, yeah, dude, dude, it's fucking crazy. They were like before this movie front. They were like. So Robert Downey Jr. has a good. He gets about like three percent of ticket sales. Yeah. Plus a salary. And this so, is all because he. Was able to deal. get in there. He carried. He pretty much made Marvel cinematic, arguably, or Kevin Feige did. Shit. So, <laughs> good job, Nick Kevin. Just the fact that they made it a, a cohesive story that interweaved so many things. I'm like, fuck. I just feel like the Endgame is a really good fucking knot to a, a like this package deal. Like, yeah, yeah, just a it's massive just, box. Yeah, dude, it's just like, it's a small box and this giant ass <laughs> knot is what it's going You gotta get there. a Blu-ray set with just all the fucking... No, have you seen the fake, DVD. Have you, <laughs> have you seen the fake? It's People were like, I want to buy this. It was a gauntlet. But it has the movie. And it opens up and it's just all the discs of yes. every movie up until I can now. 3D print that shit. I'll just buy the fucking each movie individually <laughs> and then sell it for $1,000. <laughs> but yeah, probably Christmas time. You see that shit. What do you want to see? Crossover. It has to be a big crossover event. And see, I'm trying to like put what they've done and try to use that as a mark. And I was like, to me, Civil War was a huge one, but right. they made yeah, it work for watered, like, yeah. They brought it smaller. So I'm like, I thought House of M would be a big one. Yeah. I think they'll have that be a smaller one if they ever do it. I think Phoenix would be something that could cross over because. They could introduce Shi'ar, which is a galactic, sort of like a, a Kree scroll. It's a race of people in space. And then they could do something where it's like... Captain Marvel comes be, Have you ever read Grant Morrison's X-Men? Mm-hmm. That could have been a, that could be a good Gen, one, too. Uh, Gen, Genosis? Twin sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be... They could do that. Uh, Captain Marvel, so the interesting thing is... the. Do you know how the... the did you ever watch the X-Men cartoon? Yes. Yeah. You know how Rogue is super strong and yes, he flies yes, them in? Yes, yes, it's yes. because of Captain Marvel. Oh. She, she Rogue was them. a bad guy at the time and she sucks all of Captain Marvel's powers mm-hmm. and keeps them permanently. But and Captain Marvel's in a coma for fucking like a decade or something. And Rogue over the course of this becomes realizes the gravity of what she's done yeah. and she ha- has her in her head sort of and she starts becoming a good person so that's when she becomes like an X-Men mm. but like the reason Rogue is as amazing as she is because she yeah. so it'd, it'd be interesting if they mix that yeah, where we get crazy. Captain Marvel and we get introduction to the X-Men because of Rogue yeah we get like a Rogue uh, and then that would give us a new Captain Marvel or a Miss Marvel with the yes. Kamala or some one of the other iterations Miss Marvel I think it's Miss, yeah. So that was the uh, uh, Middle Eastern Captain uh, Miss Marvel. Yeah, yeah. So they could do some interesting. I, I, I think I, I, th- I talked about this with Black Panther. I think they can still address it, even though they kind of glanced over it. And I was like, whatever. It's the urgent moment. <laughs> Five years later have passed. He immediately takes command of uh, Wakanda, and just as if nothing had missed a beat. I'm wondering politically. What has happened to Wakanda in the five years he wasn't there? Yeah, because they showed it showed like it was much more in the future. Like Wakanda had like 
Built even more. Yeah. And he had them initially starting. uh, He made the promise to get them involved in the world. And then five years went by. So Mm -hmm. maybe people took advantage or I hope or I hope like it it, it shows. I mean, if they do ever write this, Mm -hmm. that it depicts like these people were so well, like united that like even though they lost like 50 percent, they were so like we have to continue what everyone has started. And like they've built up. And that's why like they have, you know, when he comes back, they're like. Sir, we have all this new technology, by the way, that we've already done. Yeah, I think well. it'd be interesting if you have some high Perfect. level, at least high level of like who's in charge. Yeah, that level of like, hey, we kept it running, but it was me, or like <laughs> trying to sh- like shush out the mother yeah, yeah. and bring in a new person, mm-hmm. and like, I'm gonna take over your high powered, pl- and I had plans for I don't know something. I think that'd be interesting, but we'll see. I mean, I definitely am curious what is gonna happen with like these sequels. I think. Secret Wars is like the most realistic thing. Mm. Like That'd be, the next step of yeah. Marvel. Doctor mm. Doom, they could do something interesting. Please make a good Doctor yeah. Doom. God. Good, I, good, I, good. I, I think they can. <laughs> make a good fantastic I want to see FF. Um where Ant Man and Miss Thing and She Hulk. <laughs> Spider Man becomes a memory. I think with Doctor Strange, I don't so much care as much about a solo sequel. I want to see a Defenders. And the Defenders that we, we most people are aware of is Netflix Defenders. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like those guys. But the original Defenders was Namor, Silver Surfer, Hulk, and Doctor Strange. And they're like, it's weird. And they're doing weird threats of like <laughs> interdimensional shit, but they make it work. And I could see Hulk being in a team thing <laughs> with his arm being the way it is yeah. now. And I was like, that could be interesting to have. So, I don't know. I'm very curious where they take it. And the Eternal, so the movies they have slated is Eternals is supposed to come out, mm-hmm. which I have no idea what to expect. I have low expectations. Shang Chi is another one that they're working on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Black Widow. I mean, I have faith in them. They they don't. I mean, they took things like Guardians and made it work. Yeah, so they yeah. could make something work out of yeah. these things that no one knows anything about. Which is still something that blows your mind. Is like they took like a fucking C list, a C list fucking group and made it a fucking S rank, dude. I'm gonna have to look at the creative teams, the screenwriters behind them. It's almost done. Charge. Yeah, that's true. The the right. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting where they take it, but. Yeah. Good good note to end things on. Because yeah. I think that's all the time we have. Yeah. Where can people find you? They can find me at the Fulio everywhere. At the last bosses everywhere. At Kudra Prime, you can find us all in the end game. Until next time, we'll DLC. You later. <laughs>